Hello and welcome to this course on the Linux kernel facilities and helper functions. So Linux kernel uh, doesn't use the C libraries. It implements those on its own. Kind of there is a special implementation. And along with that, it implements a lot of other modules um, that allow us or help us with uh, data storage management and even kind of you know doing various different things within our drivers. So what are we going to take a look at as part of this course? Well, we have this list here, um, which is we'll start off by uh, exploring the container of macro. It's a very important macro in the Linux kernel. We'll kind of reason about it. We'll learn how it works. And then we'll move on to learning about the linked lists facilities that is available within the Linux kernel. Then we'll move on to learning about the sleeping mechanism. And then, you know, from there, we'll go on to understanding how to uh, kind of add delays and do timer management. If you want to have like an event periodically happening, how can we go about doing that? Then we'll go ahead and explore the locking mechanism, the mutual exclusion and locking uh, mechanisms or primitives that the Linux kernel provides us with. And then moving on, we'll talk about uh, work deferring mechanism work queues and things of those nature and then towards the end we'll talk about like the linux kernels uh, interrupt um, mechanism how what kind of different uh, interrupts we have or what are the different mechanisms in which interrupts can be handled that we'll take a look at then we'll uh, move on to learning about the threaded uh, irqs which is well interrupt routines and then we'll talk about uh, you know, invoking the user space application from the kernel. Um, how can we kind of send an event to the user application? So these are like um, the, the facilities and the helper functions, they will kind of help us write an, uh, a much more rich driver, so to speak. Um, you know, in the previous courses, we looked at what the drivers are, character drivers, for example. Then we took a look at how to go about you know, programming or controlling a real hardware uh, using the driver. And now what we are talking about is uh, the infrastructure that Linux kernel provides us, the modules and the libraries that it provides us so that we can uh, write you know, uh, clean and much more functional drivers. All right, so if this excites you, you know, let's uh, dive in. And what we're going to do now is take a look at um, the environment setup and how we'll go about performing all the experiments to learn these topics. All right, with this, I'll see you in the next one.